From Wall Street to Main Street, this is LA Lake. It's a major night as two of the biggest earnings announcements of the season are released. And what are they? They are Ford and they are Meta. And they're coming up tonight. I'll have the latest details on the anticipation of two of the most important corporate earnings of the third quarter that indicate where this economy is going. Where is it heading? On the heels of that alpha that missed yesterday, the Microsoft beat, and the latest details the week before as banks and credit cards showed massive spending by Americans who don't have the cash for it. That's why you have to get a poor stimulus check in every U.S. state. Tonight we have the major breaking news as well. One viewer who started as a member on this channel less than 30 days ago tonight has in his hand $20,000. $20,000 for just paying a few dollars to become a member. Where do you see an incredible thing like that except here on LLA, the Purple Barrett community, the channel that's captivating a nation where people are walking away with tens of thousands of dollars in just a few days. His name is John McLoof. John Maloof tonight has $20,000 and a brand new tablet because he's gotten rent from this channel and he's gotten stimulus in. And tonight's recording, we're going to show you how to do this as well. Plus, we have the latest details on the FFCs, the latest details on the inflation release to those checks, the latest details on the lifetime raise of your benefits. No one is explaining to you why you can have four raises of your benefits if you're on SSI, SSDI, Social Security, and World Bank. That's the latest details coming up in the big second half. Tonight, a lot of new features in the big second half. We have stim the state of stimulus, the latest details on what's coming on with Congress, the midterm elections, and how it impacts your stimulus. Plus, we have what's going on. You and I are looking at those retail stores. Is there less or more people in the stores tonight in advance of Black Friday? Big important news because it impacts the economy. We'll explain that in this recording tonight as well. And yes, we'll be looking at the reaction of the markets tomorrow based upon what's happening with Meta and also with Ford's corporate earnings coming in tonight. It's a big show. It's a big recording. Go under this video and become the next John Maloof and get $20,000 from this channel in less than 30 days. The latest details, the latest breaking news, everything you need to know. It's a huge show from America's number three most watched financial news channel. You found it. It's LA8. And yes, tonight, it's John Maloof, a brand new member of this channel, less than 30 days as a member, is tonight holding in his hands a whopping $20,000. That can be you. You're going to start and continue this week by getting massive stimulus. We're going to go over the latest details across the board. And he's watching tonight's show with a tablet, a brand new tablet he got by becoming a member. It's all the incredible stimulus, and it heats up tonight's recording. But first, we go into the major breaking news that you and I are waiting for, and it is the announcement of third quarter corporate earnings from Meta, formerly Facebook, and, uh, and the latest details from Ford. How are you? Good evening, and it's a major show tonight. In the, tonight's recording, we go over the latest details on where this economy is and where it's going based upon a series of major, hideously important corporate earnings for third quarter coming in today the ones that came in yesterday, and the reaction to the news tomorrow. Plus, we'll be looking at the massive stimulus that viewers are walking away with tens of thousands of dollars in their hands tonight, today, on this channel. This is law. Viewers are getting it. And we're not talking about a few hundred dollars. We're talking about two hundred to three hundred thousand dollars it's all heating up in tonight's broadcast plus we have a new series of two features in the second half we have state of stimulus as i examine the latest details on the congress and the saturation on more stimulus or not more stimulus it's coming up in the big second half and what's going on this is the interactive part of the show in which i ask you give me guidance what's happening in the dollar general what's happening in the nordstrom's less or more people buying Get ready to get in the live chat. But first, we start with the breaking news. Here's a timestamp. This show, while it airs at 5 o'clock Pacific Standard Time, West Coast Time, four hours after the markets close, 
Today's show is actually being taped before the markets close. So I do not have the breaking news on the Meta or the Ford earnings, but I will be in the live chat with you when the show airs. So I will interact with you and tell you the answer right across the board. Why is this so important? These two major corporations are reporting third quarter earnings tonight, and let's go over the predictions you and I think. Jump in the live chat. Do you be- and if you know the answer, don't don't vote because then you're you're ruining the ball. Meta, formerly Facebook, do you think it's going to be a beat or a miss? Beat means higher than expected. Miss means missing, lower than expected. Top is revenue. Bottom is net income. Then Ford, the auto manufacturer, beat or miss. Here's what analysts were saying going into the latest details tonight. They are thinking that Meta is going to be a miss on top and bottom, and they think that Ford is going to be a mixed bag. What am I thinking? Ford and Meta, the most important thing in the two of them is not the beat or the miss. For me, it's the guidance. Fourth quarter guidance. You and I all know that the most important thing that we need to know is when is the economy going to really fall apart. And the best indication of when the economy is going to really fall apart is corporations giving third quarter earnings and saying, and by the way, the fourth quarter you're experiencing right now and early next year, we're giving you dour guidance because we expect X, Y, Z to happen. It started last night. Yesterday, we had corporate earnings that came in from Alphabet, the parent company of YouTube, and also Microsoft. Microsoft, the tech company, beat on top and bottom, but here you go. They downward guided for the most important part of their business, cloud. And the stock took a very bad hit from it. Alphabet missed on top and bottom, and that stock took a major hit as well. Today, we start with the following. Boeing, the plane manufacturer, missed, and missed really badly, folks. Let's look at the details. How bad of a miss was his third quarter revenues? It was a miss by a lot. Nearly $2 billion miss. This is Boeing. It reported a $3.3 million quarterly loss on Wednesday, and its revenue came in at $15 billion when it was expected to come in at nearly $18 billion. Ouch. That is a very big miss. Boeing reported losses from its de- defense unit because it manufactures the Air Force One and also the fighter jets that go along the Air Force One. We're squarely focused on maturing these programs to mitigate the risk, said its CEO, David Calhoun, in a statement tonight obtained by Allied News. Do I agree? No, obviously he didn't uh, mitigate the risk because you missed on revenue by $3 billion at Boeing tonight. It's not a good situation. The day started with the reaction to yesterday's news as Alphabet, the parent company of YouTube, missed top revenue, bottom net income. Very bad day for Alphabet, and guess what happened? The stock started today at 8% down when the market opened. How bad was it? Revenue growth slowed to 6%. Um, from 41% growth last year. Wait a second, just let that marinate for a second. They were growing Alphabet at 41% last year and this year, and, and this quarter showed they only grow by 6%. That's not good. It's a growth company. It should be growing. Why downward, uh, downdraft in ad, online ad sales? Now, this is why you are so important. This is why your interaction in the live chat. In the big second half, we're going to go over what's going on right now. We're asking you, are there more or less people at the shopping in the stores? I don't care if it's Dollar General or Nordstrom's. But if you had asked me this next question, I would have given you what's going on for YouTube. Analysts had predicted that YouTube would have a 3% growth in the third quarter compared to last year. Well, wait a second. Last year was sort of on lockdown, and now we're not on lockdown? No, I would say it's the other direction. I'd say it's a negative 1%. What happened? It came in negative 2%. It slid. The, the, uh, YouTube delivered negative 2% for Alphabet when Wall Street, again, they did not have the eyes and ears. I would have been the eyes and ears on this one because I see what's going on because of this channel. was a downward slide by 2%. Google's an ad business and digital ad sales are no longer a safe place to hide, said Bernstein. And Microsoft was the biggie. Microsoft, the part of the FANG stocks, reported corporate earnings yesterday. This is exactly where you and I want to focus. Beat on top, beat on bottom. But the stock down 8% today. Why? 
because the downward guidance for the fourth quarter, which is this quarter into Christmas, was bad. Very bad downward guidance for especially cloud computing, which is a very big component of Microsoft. CEO Natala, Natala on the conference call said that there are cyclical trends that are affecting business. And CFO Amy Wood said that PCC sales in September will continue to not be particularly robust. Obviously, that's a pretty easy one to bet on. But here's what's interesting is analysts said, I like it. Analysts at Goldman Sachs said Microsoft's a buy. Morgan Stanley said it's a buy. And what's also not particularly a buy, tickets to Heathrow Airport. <laughs> what's going on? Heathrow Airport, the number one busiest airport in Europe, reported that travel into Heathrow is still dramatically down because people are not traveling for business. In fact, how far down is it? Jump a live chat. If you know the answer, don't post it because I mentioned earlier today. It's down compared to 2019. What percentage? What percentage is it down? I'll give you the number in a second. First is the quote. It's from the CEO of Heathrow Airports in London. How bad is that travel? We are proud that everyone Heathrow pulled together and service consumers, and we're looking to get back to full capacity as soon as possible. Well, they haven't. And how bad was the numbers? The Heathrow numbers for third quarter were a $512 million loss. Can you imagine? They took a nine-month, half-a-billion-dollar loss in business out of the number one airport in Europe. That shows you how things are not particularly going well. Here is the percentage. How bad was it compared to 2019? Traveling to Heathrow Airport is down 25% compared to 2019. That's all signaling that this economy is not going well. And this day started with a really great, fascinating guy on TV. He's a former head of TD Ameritrade, the online trading uh, application like, um, like stocks and bonds. And he said that the vast majority of American consumers is feeling recession pressures right tonight. He says they're paycheck to paycheck. Yes, he said there's some people who do not feel the recession yet, but most people are really struggling to make ends meet. And that is why it's so important to watch what happens with Ford and also with Meta. Jump in the live chat, post me what you think is going to happen. Will Ford be a beat or miss? Will Meta, formerly Facebook, be a beat or miss? And we'll go back over them in just a second. But this, my friends, is why you have to get a four stimulus check in every U.S. state. Let's be very clear. These four stimulus checks have been live on the channel since March. Viewers have gotten $200,000 happening all the time. And tonight we celebrate a brand new success story. His name is John Maloof. John Maloof was in the morning's live chat with me at 9 a.m. two mornings ago. Or it was three mornings ago. And I said, let's get to stimulus. And my favorite stimulus, you know which one it is, the brand new tablet, $100, and a brand new uh, internet, free internet, and potentially computer or laptop instead. He was on the live chat. He said, but I got it. I said, got what? He said, I got the tablet. I said, you got the stimulus and Yes, I got the tablet. I got stimulus and Thank you, Ally. I said, are you watching me on the tablet? He says, I am. <laughs> I couldn't believe it. What an incredible feeling for you, the Purple Power community, for me, for him, as an individual is watching this channel and experiencing a whole nother level because for just a few dollars, he became a member and was watching it on the tablet he got because of this channel. But the story gets better, and this will be you. This will be you as part of the Purple Power community. He heard me say, keep on getting stimulus checks. Keep on pouncing, Purple Power. Keep on pouncing like a purple hawk. He did, and he applied for some rent. And within 24 hours after he got the $100 tablet, guess what he got? An email. Saying, congratulations, Ms. Maloof, you've been approved for rent. How much? $20,000. Tonight, John Maloof is among other viewers of this channel who become members in less than 30 days. They're holding tens of thousands of dollars in their hand by just spending a few dollars to become a member. Why would you not become a member? In the second half, we're going to go over the state of stimulus and also going to go over my narrative and a little bit of uh, tough love. I'm going to show you why you got to do this right today. You can't wait. But let's jump into what these checks are. First of the overview, number one, FSC, 
federal stimulus checks from the federal government, from the President of the United States, from Congress. They send it out, they administer it, it's their application, and it's their money, it's even their stamp on the envelope. The states have nothing to do with it. And they're massive, $300,000 of checks, 300 different checks, we're gonna go over them in this broadcast, stay with me. Then we go to inflation release stimulus checks. They're great, about $1,000. The, the latest details on those heat up later in the second half as well. Lifetime stimulus, because once your benefits go up, they never go down. But no one is explaining to you, you're getting four lifts so that by year five, you will have more money in your wallet than it costs to live. How is this happening? I'll explain the latest details in the big second half. But without a delay, let's go right into those first three checks of the FSCs and understand how they happened, where they came from, and how viewers are getting them so quickly, so easily, and why you need to become a member as well. Let's jump in those first three checks of the FSCs starting right now. First, let's understand what is an FSC and how does this happen. These checks started in March, $100,000 passed by executive action of Joseph Biden, a series of executive orders, and they established checks A, B, and C in March by executive action. And you qualify. Single individual, $75,000 less, go get it. Married couple, $150,000 less, go get it. And if you're on benefits, go get it as well. Then came along Congress, and guess what they did? In addition to the President of the United States giving you financial freedom by becoming a member, Congress passed a bill. And that bill, what did it give you? It gave you even more checks. Along came Congress that passed a bill with E through K, bringing you to then hundreds of forced stimulus checks, law being paid out, and viewers have gone to them, and those are include the check that Mr. Maloof got for that brand new tablet. Incredible. Stimulus is L through M and N and O heat up for the purple power in the big second half. Then I found you other stimuluses like P&Q. They're coming up. You get them by becoming a member. Getting that incredible LA newsletter, Monday through Friday, 7 o'clock West Coast, 10 o'clock Eastern Standard Time. And we're going to go over all those incredible checks in just a second. But first, let's start with the first three checks, shouldn't we? I feel excited, aren't you? I'm ready to rock and roll. Let's jump into the first check of those FSCs. $6,500 to $12,000 is a forced stimulus check passed by the President of the United States by executive action. Single individual, $75,000 less, go get it. Married couple, $150,000, go get it. And if you're on benefits, go get it as well. How do you get it? You become a member. Go right on this video, join the channel. Then go down the membership newsletter. That's where you apply for the checks in the membership newsletter at check A. Click the link and you go right in apply. So simple. You're not done there yet. You're going to go get check B. Check B is fifteen dollars to $80,000, the second FSC check, and it's huge. Single individual, $75,000 or less, go get it. Married couple, $150,000 or less, go get it. How do you get it? You join the channel. You get the membership newsletter delivered Monday through Friday via the YouTube YT alerts. Go down to check B and click the link and go and apply. And let's look at this check B success story. Frank Mancuso, again, less than 30 days, and again, thousands of dollars, nearly $10,000. This was Frank's success story. He joined this channel, and in less than 30 days, he got check B. But not just one check, 18 months of check B for mortgage, 18 months of utilities, 18 months of high-speed internet. That's 18 times three checks. That is thousands of dollars of checks, almost $10,000. For just a few dollars to become a member, why would you even wait to even think about this? You become a member right today. We have another viewer out of Florida, and what does she do? She joined, and she got nearly $100,000 of checks from Check B, 80 to 100 checks. Go right on this video, become a member, Purple Hawk, Purple Power Casino VIP. Then go down to where you see Check B, click the link, and go and apply. You're not done there yet. Go get Check C. Check C is for rent, utilities, mortgage assistance, and more. It's absolutely incredible. Yes, you want those checks. Yes, they're huge. You go down the membership newsletter. It tells you who to call, what to say, and how to say it. And not just one place, but 12 places. What are you watching? 
You're watching Ally Light, the number three most watched financial news channel in America, and you're part of the incredible family. How did this happen? S launched in 2020, YouTube was the platform, and this was the show. Ally Light, and now it's captivating a nation with now three channels, 24 hours a day, seven days a week, programming, long form, short form, taped and live, and now the number three most watched financial news channel in America, with three broadcasting channels, LA1, LA2, and LA3. Nearly 100 new members joining every 48 hours. Have you become a member? Have you renewed your membership? Make sure you do, because there's always brand new stimulus happening around the clock. Moreover, the money gotten by viewers of this channel has never been equated anywhere else or happened anywhere else in broadcast history. $50 million gotten by the viewers of this channel in the last two years. Let's look at some of those $50 million of success stories, and they're from Chuck C. Do you want $30,000 from Chuck C? Become a member. Look at that from Richard and Nancy and Mark and Elizabeth. Huge. And congratulations to the two viewers who got 14 months of rent, excuse me, that's rent, in the last few days. Then utilities. Here we go. Lynn Glenn got 12 months of utilities. So did another viewer. Here's Mark. He got $6,500 of utilities from Chuck C by becoming a member. His brother-in-law got $15,000 of Chuck C utilities as a member. And then that same brother-in-law is getting a quarter million dollars over 10 years for SNAP. Combinations of checks. That's what we do. And here's Nisi. She was at $23,000. She went to $50,000. $50,000 for just a few dollars of becoming a member. Wow, what an incredible success story. Mark. Just a few dollars. And when I say a few dollars, I mean literally a few dollars. Mark going from a few dollars to 32000 then 50000 then 100000 and he's walking away with 166000 because he got check B. Here's Lorraine. She was at 105 She went to 150 And whether it's Lorraine or Mark, at 150000 they are not alone. It's happening all the time. Dragon, longtime triple member to all three channels, longtime volunteer and longtime viewer. She is at $170,000 tonight. Johnny got 20 friends and family in his neighborhood, a quarter million dollars. He also got his mom, 50, his dad, another 50,000, himself, 80,000. The success stories keep on coming in. Why would you not become a member? Go right on this video, become a member right today. Now let's go over check C and check B. Some important things I want you to remember. First, when you do check C, promise me this, you'll reach out to all 12 places in the membership newsletter. Check C, you got 12 places to reach out to for 80 checks. You make sure you reach out to all 12 places because you'll get a no, but you'll also get a yes. Check B is much the same because viewers are averaging about 18 months of checks, about five checks per month. Now, how do you keep track of all these checks? Because we are only at check number three. We are only at check number three of a show and a broadcast tonight that has hundreds of checks. It's this, the LA Worksheets. The LA Worksheets are free for members of this channel down around the third line of the membership newsletter. In the third line, it's a PDF you can print out from your cell phone or computer. Take notes on a separate piece of paper if you don't have a printer. And you want to go to that second page and keep track of the different stimulus items you're applying for. And that's what the wonderful John Maloof did. Because he had forgotten he had applied for that rent. <laughs> he got that email saying, congratulations, you got approved for $20,000 of that rent. That is check A, B, and C. Now let's go over the first page of that worksheets, which we haven't done in about two weeks. So let's go over because we've learned a lot since then. First inflation, where's inflation tonight? Has not moved. It's not moved. It's basically the same inflation story has been on this channel for all this year, as I think it was Loretta Mester says, we got to nowhere for inflation. She's exactly right. It's still 8.5%, where they need to get down to uh, 2%. <laughs> so how long are we going to be at this? j Powell says, we're going to be at this for two more years. So not this year, not next year, but the year after that. Recession. Yes, we are in a recession. And that head of TV, TD Ameritrade, or former head of TD Ameritrade today said, you know what? Americans are feeling it right now. But jump in the live chat because I, I need to ask you a question. When do you think the real hurt of this recession is going to be? We'll let's touch back on that answer in just a second. Labor. Okay, so whether it's yesterday or the day before, labor seems to be the one trick pony that the White House is doing. Labor's really good. Labor's really good. Economy's great because labor's really good and labor's really good. We got it. 
doesn't work that way. As a recession grows and a recession continues, labor falls apart at the end of the recession. And just because labor is strong doesn't mean the economy is strong. There's more to economy than that. And then Federal Reserve, the last item of the first page, this is so important. The Federal Reserve is going to raise interest rates 50 to 75 basis points every month. I mean, that's an enormous amount just in one month. But every month from now all the way to the middle of not next year, but 2024. So imagine if you have $5,000 on debt on the credit card right now and you think you can afford that interest rate of that debt, imagine how you won't be able to afford it after, count it out, that's almost 16 to 18 months of increases at 50, uh, at half a basis point at least. So that's almost 9% higher than where we are tonight if it's half times 18. That's an enormous, an enormous rise for any type of debt across the board. In the big second half, we're going to continue with these big stimuluses, and we're going to go over more about the FSCs, ISCs, and also LSCs. But let me jump into the other breaking news that impacts your wallet tonight. So, Meta and Ford reporting corporate earnings after the close, and they will have reported by the time the show airs, but it's not at the time the show was taped. Let me tell you what's anticipating why this is so important. Again, you and I are looking for the guidance. We're looking for the guidance for the fourth quarter, this quarter, when they're reporting the last quarter today. Why? Because we've not had really good guidance across the board. What have we had so far? We've had the credit card companies. That's easy. Everyone knows people putting things on credit card. So they're all beating. America Express beat. Bank America, Bank America beat. That was easy. We all know that travel and leisure is up. We all know the hotels and the airlines are going to do great all the way through Christmas. So that doesn't really help us. That doesn't really help inform us about anything. Then... Um, we had Alphabet and we had Microsoft report. That was trying to help us a little bit more. But what we really need is something that's closer to what you and I do on a regular basis. Our consumer staples, our detergents like, um, like uh, our soap products, our auto parts like, a, like, a, um, like an O'Reilly's. Um, you know, something a little bit more down home than a Chipotle. Chipotle is a little bit more esoteric. That's why Chipotle was such a big beat this week. So Ford is sort of getting in, in, in the milieu of the situation. Ford is impacted by what? Yes, it's import, it's impacted by the strength of the U.S. dollar, the strongest it's ever been, because Ford sells a lot of cars overseas. Ford is also impacted by j Powell raising those rates. But here's a catch. Those higher rates from J-Pow really did not kick in until late in the third quarter. So you're not going to see Ford to take a major hit because people can't afford the car loan then. They're going to not be able to afford the car loan now in the fourth quarter. And then Meta is really fascinating because of the parent, as the former face, as the former Facebook company, it's consumer demand, consumer interaction, ad sales. How many people are placing advertisements to promote their business? Can, do they have an ad budget at all anymore? That is more closer to home to get a guidance on you and I. So what do you think? If you said Ford beat beat top and bottom, then you may be right. Um, if you said Ford miss and miss, uh, I think it's a little bit of a stretch. Most analysts think it's not going to be that particularly bad of a quarter. But if you said Ford's going to downward guide for fourth quarter, I think you're in the money. Ultimately, let's see if I'm right. I will be in the live chat when the show airs. What am I predicting? I'm predicting Ford's going to downward guide for the th fourth quarter, absolutely. And then I think top and bottom, I think one could be a beat, one could be a miss. Let's see if I got that right. It's a hard one on this one to predict. Meta, uh, a lot of people are thinking this is going to be a miss. I think it's going to be a miss on the revenue side, the top. Um, I don't know about the net profit. If, they're, if their costs are so high because they're investing in the metaverse, then it's going to be a miss, miss, top, miss on top and miss on bottom. I think they're going to downward guide for fourth quarter. I do not believe the demand for the ad sales is there because we had indication from Snap with that horrible miss early this week. I mean, it's a horrific miss. The stock was down 30% in one day practically. Alphabet, the trouble with Google this week, and also Microsoft downward guiding for cloud. So that's why those two companies are hideously important. And you know what's also important? Tomorrow. Tomorrow, I want to see the reaction to the markets to Meta and Ford. Every one of the sister and brother has been talking about those two companies. I got to tell you, I don't think I've seen a week in which every broadcaster, analyst, stock trader, viewer has been talking about Ford and Meta as the two number 
company, the number one and number two companies that are looking to really get a sense of where this economy is. And in the big second half, we'll go over more about that sense. Plus, we'll jump into uh, the latest of two new sh- uh, elements coming to, sh- to segments of the show. First, state of stimulus, as I go over what's going on with Congress and your next round or lack of round of stimulus. And then, what's going on? <laughs> a new segment in which you and I interact on what's going on in the retail market, specifically as we go into those holiday sales. But first up, the continuation of FSCs. Lots of FSCs, lots of stimulus checks in the big second half. Then we go to inflation release stimulus checks and a lifetime stimulus checks. It's a lot of money, and it's a show like none other. It's all brand new, and it's all heating up. The latest details and more comes up in the big second half from the shores of Santa Monica, California. It's evenings. If you want money right now, not five days from now, and not five weeks from now, then reach out to the community page. The volunteers can help you find that money for rent and utilities. That's at news.la.com forward slash community. The community page features a series of volunteers who are viewers like you. They can help you find rent, utilities, SNAP, food benefits, mortgage assistance, and help you with eviction moratorium questions as well. Their Facebook, Twitter, and Instagram individuals reach out to them and indicate the city and state you're from, and they'll get back to you shortly. That's a community page. Volunteers working for you, viewers helping one another. Stay with LA for more. Join LA Late Daily for the excitement of the new LA Late Live Daily. The excitement starts on mornings LA Late at 9 a.m. Home LA Late returns at 11 a.m. daily. And then afternoons LA Late at 1 p.m. Join us daily as the excitement continues live from Santa Monica on LA Late. And the excitement continues right now in the big second half as more and more stimulus. Everything you need to know for the shores of Santa Monica, California. Good evening as your stimulus continues in this big second half. What a night it is, as Congress came along and passed more stimulus after the President of the United States, their passes of checks E through K heat up this broadcast starting right now. After the President of the United States did that executive action that established the first three checks, A, B, and C, of FSC checks, then came Congress, and Congress passed more stimulus checks for you, all in a bill back in the spring. And those incredible checks are E through K. And let's look at those incredible checks starting right now. Check E, $7,500. Incredible. Check F, $4,000. Huge. Check G, a whopping 30% off. Check H, $2,000. Check I, incredible, $8,000. Check J, $8,000. And check K, $14,000. Just absolutely incredible. Then, along came more stimulus of the FSCs, and they are great. What followed? Check out. $100,000 on average of loan interest free money. M, $4,000 of free money for you. Grant. Then, stimulus N, and that's where all the magic happened. Three mornings ago on Mornings LA, live on air every day at 9 a.m., I was in the live show, and I was right at the spot. And I said, Stimulus N is my favorite stimulus. Brand new tablet, brand new computer, brand new laptop. $100 towards a participating provider. And I look into the live chat, and there's John Maloof. He said, I got it. I said, excuse me? Got what? I got the tablet from Stimulus N. I said, my goodness, what incredible great news. Imagine. And then I asked him, what are you watching me on? On the tablet that I got from watching your channel. (laughs) He became a member. And in less than 30 days, he got a tablet from the Stimulus N and is watching the channel on the tablet and watching you. Congratulations, John Maloof. Now, his story gets better because guess what? He listened really well. I always tell you, as a Purple Hawk or a Purple Power or a Calcino VIP, two pounds. Pounds means get another stimulus. Keep on getting stimuluses. $100, $800, 2000 10000 He did. He applied for rent, and then 24 hours after he got that, tablet, guess what he got? 
$20,000 of rent. It's pretty good, don't you think? $20,000 and a brand new tablet for just a few dollars, less than $10 of becoming a member in less than 30 days. Why would you not become a member? Then we have stimulus O, zero down payment, zero closing costs, and no insurance and no credit check for a brand new home. And then a stimulus P, a 3% down and $8,000 of closing costs. Just absolutely incredible. And that, my friends, is your FSCs. Now let's recap and let's learn a little bit more about these FSCs. Number one, from the federal government, Congress, the President of the United States, they administer it, they send it out, their money, their check, their stamp on the envelope. It has nothing to do with your state, it has nothing to do with your town or your county. It's all from the federal government for every U.S. state and every U.S. territory. Number two, largest check, $100,000. Smallest check, $8,000. Fastest routing time, two days. As Johnny started on Monday, and by Wednesday, got $45,000 for this channel. By Friday, he continued. That's how I teach him. That's how I teach you. He applied for 17 programs, got eight approved, and $80,000. The next week, he got mom, $50,000, dad, $50,000, and then he helped a quarter million, he got 20 people get a quarter million dollars in his town. What are these checks for? We have rent. We have Mortgage, we have appliances around the home like the washer dryer. We have home repairs weatherizing the home. Viewers have been celebrating their success stories on that one in recent live shows. We have the computer, the tablet, the laptop, the free internet, the car. We got something for almost all different walks of life. So get those incredible FSCs today. Here are some things you need to remember. Number one, go into this video, subscribe. Number two, hit that little bell at the front of this channel so you make sure all notifications are set all on. And number three, go on this video and join the channel. Now, in addition to those incredible FSCs, what else do you have? Well, you have ISC, Inflation Relief Stimulus Checks, not from Joe Biden, but from the states. How do you learn about these incredible ISC checks, Inflation Relief Stimulus Checks, and what are they? Let me go over the details starting right now. First, they're in most U.S. states. Number two, they're about $1,000. Number three, you generally have to have a federal tax return on file. It's totally free. Go to irs.gov to submit it. And then how do you learn about it? You become a member. You go down the membership newsletter to check D. Click the link. It opens a brand new page that lists the states, then lists the amount, then lists the website from your state to track the check and the automatic direct deposit. Again, it is all down in the membership newsletter. Check D. That is your inflation relief stimulus checks don't ever lead with that as your analysis or your investigation because it's only about $1,000. You want to start with FSCs, the bigger checks, nearly $200,000, $300,000 across the board. Now, finally, the third category of checks are lifetime stimulus checks. And no one's explained this to anyone except me and you. Why? Once your benefits go up, they never go down. And yes, you know that your benefits are going up 8.7%. You learned that on this channel on October 13th. But there is four raises of your benefits, and no one's explained that at all to you until right now. Let's go with the details. Imagine you are in a skyscraper, and you're standing next to an elevator. You're on the first floor. And then, last year, they announced your benefits are going up 5.9%. Second floor, 5.9%. You went up. Then... They announced this October 13th, you are going to 8.7%. That's on top of your 5.9% that has put you on the second floor. So you're going now up higher to the third floor with an 8.7 on top of the 5.9. Not a replacement, but on top of. But guess what happens? You're not stopping to the third floor. Because j Powell's made it very clear you're going to the fourth and then the fifth floor because it's going to be two more years of, of inflation for him to battle at the Federal Reserve. Wow. So you're going to be at the fifth floor in no less than two years. That's exciting, but it gets better than that. As you go up to the fifth floor, guess what happens to the price of the goods that you're buying, like milks and eggs? They're going from the fifth floor right now to the first floor. j Powell by battling inflation, is going to get inflation back down to the lowest level of generation. And when he's done in 2024, your benefits will be at the highest level of a generation. Yes, you'll have the highest check you've ever had of a generation in 2024. And then the milk and eggs will be the cheapest it's been of a generation in 2024. That's how great this is getting. Insane. Gets better than that. 
If you're on Medicare Plan B, do not worry anymore that your benefits are going to be eaten up by a benefits check because that's no longer the case. Congress passed a great bill over the summer that prevents that from ever happening again. Which brings us back into the latest breaking details tonight. But first up, a new feature on this channel, State of Stimulus. Tonight, I have a new segment on this channel called State, and St State of Stimulus in which I go over the state of future stimulus, what it will look like, how it will look like, and when it would formulate. And it all starts right now. State of stimulus. Well, when you look at the dynamic at issue, it all comes back down to the U.S. Senate. The state of stimulus is dependent upon the midterm elections just a few weeks from now. And if the Democrats maintain the same balance of power in the Senate, then they would be able to do another reconciliation, a very difficult process that takes a few months to pass a bill, not like a normal bill, but a reconciliation bill. If the Democrats lose one seat, they won't be able to do a reconciliation bill at all. If they gain a seat, they won't have to do a reconciliation bill. They could potentially just do a normal bill. Yeah. And if the Democrats lose two seats, they can't do anything. They can't do a reconciliation bill or a normal bill. So here is obviously what you're wondering. What happens if the Democrats, what happens if the Republicans? Let me explain the situation right now. So if the Democrats keep the, stat, the balance of the number of seats exactly the same, they can do more recons. If, they pick up, if the Democrats pick up a seat, they can do something easier than a recon, just like a normal bill. If the Democrats lose one seat in the Senate, they can't do anything. If the Democrats lose two seats in the Senate, they can't do anything. And it's more importantly, the, the Senate. Now, if, they lose the, if the Democrats lose the House, that's a whole other ball of wax as well. Which then will cause you to ask, well, does that mean I'm getting or not getting? Let me make something very clear to you because I'm watching what's happening on other channels. I'm watching what's happening in discussions and it's absolutely fictitious. People are in other channels talking about, well, you know, another $1,200, $2,000, another, yeah, yeah, yeah. No, no, no. I mean, it's one thing to be hopeful and wishful, but it's another one to make it sound like it's happening. There is no current bill anywhere promising another $2,000 or $1,200 or one of those ridiculous $600 checks. I mean, this, to even record anything about a $600 check at this point is ridiculous. But there's no discussion anywhere about that among Republicans and Democrats. So, could it happen? What would they give you? Who would they give you? And what have they done in the past? Here we have to go down memory lane. What's important to understand is that as a broadcaster, I certainly know what viewers remember what they often forget. Most people forget that the first stimulus package was the biggest. The biggest amount of money, the biggest payout to individual individuals, and the best of all of them. But for some people, it's not as good as it was for other people. The first stimulus package was great if you are an independent contractor like a painter or a carpenter or a, um, or a limo driver. It was great if you're an independent contractor like Uber or Lyft. It was great if you're a small business owner like a one or two, uh, like a mom and pop uh, business, or you know, just like a little gardening supplies company. Absolutely, it was a great stimulus package. Why? EIDL grant, five thousand dollars, or at least two of them in some cases. EIDL loan. $150,000, I got viewers on the channel. PPP loan that turned into grant, hundreds of thousands of dollars right there. And that was the best of all the stimulus packages. It was followed up by basically stimulus package one and a half and one and a half and three quarters because there were other versions of this that you could repeat those monies again. Most Americans came around remembering then a $1,200 or a $400 or $500 check because they were not part of the they were not part of the attention span of that first stimulus. So state of stimulus, what is my prediction based upon the state of what we have right now? Here we go. Number one, if the Republicans take control of the Senate, they could very much likely do another first stimulus package again. The massive one, the CARES Act with massive stimulus, that independent contractors, sole practitioners, in, um, small business owners, and similar would get massive amounts of money. 
Would there be, you know, $2,000 a month for six months? Absolutely not. Absolutely never happening. But would there be this type of relief for people that are actually doing something? Absolutely. And if you think you have to do a lot to get the money, you don't. And that's why this channel was so successful at EIDL Grants. A lot of people got EIDL Grants based upon just very basic operations on a regular annualized basis. Number two, if the Democrats keep the same balance of power, will they do another stimulus package? We don't even know that. They've not promised it. So let me make this very clear. This is different than the last election cycle where we had Raphael Warnock and, and, and Ossoff in that Georgia Senate seats and they were promising things to you if you elected them. Remember that? They were promising that if we if you elect us, then Chuck Schumer will do this. This time around, they're not promising anything. So even if they're not promising, does that mean they're going to do nothing? No. But what's important to understand is that the whole state of where things is today is different. So what is my concluding statement for today's episode of State of Stimulus? My concluding statement is the most guaranteed the most likely type of stimulus you're going to see in the next few weeks, next few months, and early next year is exactly the FSCs and more new FSCs. A check for this, a check for that. You qualify, same qualifications, you know, single individual, 75000 less, married couple, 150000 less. You don't have to work. You don't have to be a business owner. You don't have to be an independent contractor. But they're going to be checks for things a check for this thing, a check for that thing. And most of us need these checks for our things. We have bills for these things and they will have checks for these things. They're very in line with doing that type of relief, FSCs, federal government. I think that's absolutely gonna happen. And if Democrats take control, it would happen. If Republicans take control, I think it would happen as well. Absolutely, that is the state of stimulus. Which brings me to an important narrative tonight. And this is a tough love moment. The tough love moment tonight is you need to get the stimulus right now. You need to get the stimulus right now. Because earlier in this recording, I made a question for you, and I'm going to go over your answer right now. When you believe that real hurt, when you believe that real hurt for the American consumer, the American retiree, the American SSI or SSDI viewer is going to be felt. Most people in the live chat have said January. So let's take it with that. If January is the real hurt, then you're out about two months before that stimulus stampede. Americans are going to be looking for items, and they will be coming here. You promise me right tonight. And here's a tough love moment. You don't play games with this. You do not play games with this. You get stimulus tonight, this night, in October. You get this money right now. You become a member, you go around the membership newsletter. You apply for a check, you apply for another check. There's hundreds of checks I got for you. You apply for checks and keep on applying for checks. You pull out that membership newsletter and you go down to the worksheets around the third line. You get that worksheet, you flip to the second page, and in the worksheets, you start keeping track of the stimulus you applied for. What day did you apply for check A? What day did you apply for check B? What day did you make a call for check C at place number one? And did you call all 12 places for check C? You make this part of your lifestyle. You do not play around with this. And once you do that, imagine how good you're going to feel. Because it's a little bit like Noah's Ark. You don't build the ark after the storm comes and we get wiped away by water. You build the ark ahead of time. You prepare ahead of time. And that's ultimately why you and I win on this channel. I prepared you ahead of time, but I can only get you to do it if I encourage you. Ultimately, you have to do it. You got to pick up that finger and start applying for these incredible checks, which brings us back into the breaking news and how it impacts your wallet. Let's look at those numbers tonight and really what those numbers may signal indication of what's happening with state of stimulus going into the next 30 days. So Boeing was that miss based upon defense. Doesn't really help us too much. Alphabet, the parent company of Google, massive miss on top and bottom because of online ad spending. Consistent narrative. Snap missed for the same reason. Facebook now Meta may do the same thing as well. And Microsoft, which is not dependent on ad sales, more, more based upon corporate, it was down, uh, it was down even though it was a beat on top and bottom. What's important for us to see is really 
more of these consumer staples, and we don't have those corporate earnings in just yet, they're later this week, next, next week as well. And here comes what's going on. Tonight's segment of what's going on, I need you to do the following. When you go out and you're shopping, you need to be the eyes and ears of this channel. So whenever you're in the live chat anytime and watch a particular show, just write, I was in this store, and this is how different it was compared to, let's say, 2019. So if, let's say you're in Ross Department Store, it's empty. And I was in there uh, right before Thanksgiving 20, 2019, and I can't believe it. it's like a ghost town. That's an example. I'm not saying that's what it was. I just want you, I just want to see that type of reaction. Because ultimately, you are the eyes and ears of what's going on. If you see stores empty during Black Friday, then write the store in the live chat. And then another viewer may be in the same store but in a different state and say, yes, I saw the same thing. If you're in, let's say, a Dollar General and it's empty, and then another viewer in the live chat says, I was in Nordstrom's, it was empty, then we see that across the same industry, retail, different parts and segments of the industry, high-end retail and low-end retail, it's the same narrative, it's the same story, you know how bad it is for the U.S. economy. Ultimately, we only have the data that came in from American Express and, and Bank of America so far to work on, and it's not a lot. That they see record spending like they've never seen it before, but it's not consistent spending. American Express said the spending came from travel and leisure. So I want to see normal things. Are people buying normal things like clothing and tennis shoes? Are they buying furniture? Are they buying auto parts? Or are they just really cutting back on everything and then splurging once in a while for a vacation trip? If they're cutting back, that's going to be evident when you look in eyes and ears in those stores and you're going to report in the live chat what's going on because ultimately this is how we learned early this year earlier this year in march i said to you can you tell me is there less store merchants in the walmart and the target when you go to check out there are walmart and targets here in southern california but there's not a lot of walmarts and so i want to say hey is there less walmart uh checkers clerks when you check out what do you see and the viewers said yes absolutely and that was the first eyes and ears of what's going on, and you got it right. And guess what happened just weeks later? Walmart and, and Target Dow were guided in the month of May for the second quarter, uh, for the third quarter, when they reported the second quarter corporate earnings. And the markets crashed, and you knew that before the markets did. That's how good you are at this. And that's why you bring so much to this channel. And with that, the programming continues throughout the night. Here's what you need to remember. Number one, tough love moment right now. Get as much stimulus as you can. Do not play games with this. Get that stimulus right tonight. There's going to be stimulus stampedes. The economy is going to get worse. We just don't know when, and you don't want to roll the dice. Rather, get it now before later because you don't want to compete with those people. Number two, it's important to remember this is today. And while I didn't have time in the commentary tonight to add it in there, today, this is today. You don't think about something of the past. You think of the present. And the present is tonight, and the present may be different tomorrow. So you don't come back and say in two weeks from now, I want some, I want some uh, stimulus C and, uh, or stimulus B, and I'm like, oh, you know, it's gone. What do you mean it's gone? Well, you wait around. You deal with the present. The present is here. The present is here. You get it now. You don't wait. You don't also look back backwards and talk about whatever happened to whatever happened to this is not a um a collections channel this is not a channel where you just sort of show up and collect your past due sums that people owe you no 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 you are here to go from here forward so you grab money that's available right now you look for the money tomorrow you grab it then and you look for the money thereafter you don't show up and say i heard about some money you know five years ago do they have that for me now Wrong mindset. Focus and get the money right tonight. Moreover, I'll have the latest details tomorrow on air of Meta and also Ford and the reaction of the markets as they open based upon those massive corporate earnings. The latest details are more heat up throughout the night as the programming continues. Join me every night as evenings LA is at 5 o'clock. 6 o'clock is countdown, 7 o'clock is street and stimulus, 8 o'clock is extra, 9 o'clock is sunset, and then the programming continues throughout the night, and always jump in the live feed as well if you're not watching it already. Stay informed, stay focused, become a member, get as much money as you can, and as always, watch the videos and watch more videos, and you will be informed and ready to earn. Stay informed, stay focused, and stay with Valet for more.